Hello, welcome to Wolfway TV. Thank you for stopping by. Guys, today I'm going to talk about the passport requirement that has been scrapped uh, from last month's judgment, all right? Uh, several of you guys asked me to talk about it and I was hesitant because I wanted to uh, find more information about this and see where this uh, update has been made in documentations for State Department, all right, where the State Department or where uh, this documentation has been put into the Foreign Affairs Manuals, all right. So I did a video a few days ago, a live video, I talked about the passport requirement. If you haven't seen it, check it out on Facebook, uh, Wolfway TV page. But today I'm going to make like a simpler video and talk about the passport requirement. The live video are usually longer and the topic might deviate into, you know, more uh, subjects depending on the questions that people ask me. So here I'm just going to uh, talk about the passport requirement. Last month, February uh, 2022, this year, um, uh, a district court judge found that uh, it was illegal for State Department to implement the passport requirement for the diversity visa lottery entries, okay? Um, and this passport requirement was done in 2019 uh, to uh, require people to have passport, a valid passport before they apply for the lottery, okay? Um, the idea behind that was that due to the rampant fraudulent stuff that happened to applicants uh, or fraudulent activities that are inherent in the application process, they wanted to use the passport requirement to restrict that. They felt that uh, some people fall prey to uh, others like agents, who would take their uh, winning entries hostage um, and ask for ransom or ask for some money. If they don't give that, then they uh, their winning ticket is passed on to somebody else. Or some agents will hold hostage their information and uh, force them into marriages and all that stuff. So that was the idea behind the passport requirement that with the passport number, you are the only person who has that passport number in your country and it cannot be transferred to anybody. It cannot be sold to anybody. So even if an agent or somebody tried to um, pass off your winning lottery to somebody else, they wouldn't have your passport number because it is unique to you, right? There can only be one person, one owner for that passport number in your country and that would be you. Um, but the problem was that the State Department didn't go through the, the public hearing. So because the Diversity Visa Lottery Program was an act of Congress, any changes that was going to take place needed to go through public hearing before it gets uh, adopted into the system, right? But State Department didn't do that and skip through and uh, just added that into their rules. And so that was the illegal aspect of the passport requirement. So a bunch of people uh, took the State Department to court that um, the requirement was causing a reasonable financial uh, financial uh, uh, hardship on them and that they didn't have enough time to get their passport. The time that was instituted or published, they didn't have enough time because this requirement was published somewhere, I think, between June, June and July. So people, uh, the people who filed the lawsuit said that they didn't have enough time to prepare. But of course, the department felt that, hey, from June or July, you guys should have enough time to October to prepare. The judge says that it was illegal. And so uh, when, even though the State Department might have good intention or they were trying to put some preventive measures in place, it still, uh, they didn't go through the right procedures. So whether State Department will try again to bring it back but uh, go through the right measures, that we don't know. But what that means to you guys, because I'm sure that's what it means, uh, I'm sure that's what you're interested in. So what it means is that if you are a DV lottery winner from 2021, all right, I mentioned 2021 because of the lawsuit, uh, some of the DV 2021 people are going to get interviews to have the opportunity, we still have the opportunity to get visas. So from the DV 2021 all the way through DV 2023 application period. So if the time you were applying for your DV lottery in DV 2021, 
DV 2022, DV 2023, if you didn't have passport, now the consular officer cannot use that as a basis to deny your application. If you claim to have an exemption that you didn't have on your application, whether in DV 2021 application, DV 2022, DV 2023, the embassy will not require you to bring evidence of the exemption that you claimed. They are not going to use that to deny you. If you use an invalid passport number, if you use a, uh, um, if you use an expired passport number, it's still not going to affect you. So if you are somebody who applied for the lottery without your passport, um, you selected that you are exempted from having a passport, um, you make, those claims then and you were selected for 2021 2022 2023 then know that you are in the clear you can still uh go for your interview the seal is not going to use that to deny your visa you don't have to worry about that um but as to whether it's going to apply to dv 2024 and there are that we don't know we'll have to wait towards uh october for the dv 2024 application period then we will know if that requirement is there if the passport requirement is there or not but at the moment from dv 2021 2022 2023 uh, uh entrance you shouldn't worry about not having passport you shouldn't worry about having an expired passport don't worry about you putting the wrong passport number in there don't worry about claiming to have an exception uh, an exemption that you didn't have you'll be fine so guys i hope that this is the good news that you were looking forward to but like i said we don't know about dv 2024 application cycle which is going to open in october so we'll have to wait and see what will happen for that period but for the moment it's for DV 2021 to DV 2023, all right? So guys, if you applied for the lottery last year and you didn't have a passport, you are good, all right? Because that would be DV 2023. But guys, thank you so much for sticking around and watching my videos. Please subscribe, share my videos with your friends and families so that they can learn more about the immigration process. I do live videos on Facebook, talk about a whole lot of topics. You can ask questions there during the live video. You can join the Facebook groups, Greek Card Lottery Africa, Greek Card Lottery Ghana, Greek Card Lottery Winners, Moving to America slash Wafoy TV. And Wafoy TV, that's the official Facebook page. Follow me, click the thumbs up. Follow me on all social media platforms. If you want to be part of my WhatsApp group, uh, Greek Card Lottery Winners, uh, Wafoy WhatsApp group, um the dv 2022 group is full at the moment occasionally if there's an you know free spot then i can add someone but the dv 2023 whatsapp group will be opening on may 7th so guys if you want to be part of that whatsapp group then the moment you find out because remember it's for winners only so remember that the moment you find out that you have been selected then you need to email me proof of your selection so that i can add you to the whatsapp group don't wait until it's too late for you to join the group all right i love you guys share my videos with your friends and families and i'll see you on my next video bye bye